There was a gasp, some jaws dropped in court when the judge made the announcement that 50 year old Coast Guard Lieutenant Christopher Hassan will get out on bail. Not today, not happen happening tomorrow, but it looks like it will happen. Well, can you tell us how you're feeling? You didn't expect this to happen? Christopher Hassan's wife was in court when a federal judge announced her husband will soon be released. He's been in federal custody for two and a half months. Prosecutors hope to keep him locked up until the trial. Today, the government claiming the Coast Guard officer was poised to mount a terror attack, had successfully test fired illegal homemade silencers in order to murder quietly and on a mass scale, and the government says had started targeting victims on a hit list, which the feds now claim included two U.S. Supreme Court justices. Hassan's defense attorney called that bluster, a lot of dots on a page that don't connect. And she argued the government has still provided no evidence that the 30-year military veteran and father of two daughters had planned any sort of attack. And in the end, the judge agreed to a point, saying, while not dangerous enough to detain, I still have grave concerns about the defendant's dangerousness. What about you ladies? You want, can you tell us about your dad? Hassan, because of what the judge said, is still being detained. He said, the judge said, I, just going home with your wife and kids will not suffice. So there will be a follow-up hearing soon to explore options. The judge wants third-party monitoring around the clock. Prosecutors told the judge, I can tell you right now, we plan to oppose all of those grounds. Live in Greenbelt tonight, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL-TV 11 News.